What is going on, everyone? Welcome to the Brand Parcel Show. It's on the move here. So I wanted to talk about, you know, I'm watching, you know, you think about coaches, okay? And you think about what makes coaches successful. And I'll say it, it scouting is a big part of it. And that's why I'm a believer in the Florida Gators. Billy Napier, if you watch some of the recruits, if I when I break down Chris McClellan, especially some of the guys that are true sophomores this year, Chris McClellan, Kamari Wilson, Shamar James, um, Miguel Mitchell. You know, these are all guys that just really high level trades in high school. I think it's going to translate well to Florida. You know, here's the thing like, this is why I'm a believer in Florida this year. All like those guys in that recruiting class combined with this year, that is going to just create, that is going to create a really talented team. And I'm going to pick Florida to up, I'm going to pick Florida to upset Utah week one. And you know, I listen to Billy Napier's press conference. He's talking about how competitive positions are right now. And a lot of that is, to me, that's due to both these recruiting classes. They have young guys coming in that are just a lot of talent. You know, Shamar James, I really, as a linebacker, he just moves so well. Devin Moore's a corner from the 2022 class, just as smooth as they come. He's got some size, ball skills. Chris McClellan is just a grown man inside too he's up to 325 just crazy in high school he was playing at two one year he was 250 i don't know if that was his soft i think it was a sophomore or junior year but mcclellan this guy i mean mcclellan is a monster and i was watching some of his tape when he got snaps this year this is a guy that just is a presence inside and i think he's gonna have a, a big time season so that's why i think florida is gonna beat utah like that line's minus four and a half. I would just take Florida money. I, I, I don't even need the points. I think Florida's going to win this game. I think Florida is going to be a really good football team this year. I uh, cannot wait to see how they perform. Uh, but yeah, you just like watching some of their recruits, it immediately gives me like, I immediately have like, I immediately see the green light with Billy Napier that. They're they're doing things. They are moving in the right direction. They are they're doing things to become a really high end elite football team. Because here's the thing. I mean, Florida. Here's the thing about recruiting at Florida. And I think I don't know if this is necessarily the case for Dan Mullen, but I think this kind of happened to Ed Orgeron a little bit. And I say yeah, it happened to Dan Mullen. Just by. I used to call this blindly recruiting. This is kind of what Brady Hoke did at Michigan. Sometimes you can just go in, and I'm saying not saying coaches do this, but if you went and just looked at some of the top high school recruits by 20, ranked by 24/7, and you just sent offers to the top guys blindly, you're gonna hit on a few guys. But Billy Napier, by the way he talks, they have an out. They some coaches just get just get it. They can see guys in high school. They can see what guys can play based on the traits they have in high school. You see the acceleration, burst, movement skills, um, hand shedding from some of the. You see all the high end level traits in some of the guys they're recruiting. So to me, that tells me that Napier and this Florida recruiting staff knows what they're doing. You combine that with a guy that knows how to coach. He's a respectable, intense, hardworking guy. To me, that's going to lead. Florida's going to take off, and it might not be next year. But I think if you, Florida, they're going to have a season where at the end of this year, people are going to talk about Florida the way they're talking about LSU. Like Florida's probably going to be a preseason top 10, top 5 team. Um, just because I think this year, they're about a year away now just because this year they're still so young. But talented football team nonetheless, and they have a chance to be really good. And, and Billy Napier, yeah, I'm a full believer of him and the direction this Florida program's going. I think it's gonna be exciting uh, to watch. Uh, I think they're gonna be exciting to watch this year. And uh, yeah, keep an eye on that. The, soft, the 2020 recruiting class, guys that are sophomores. Kamari Wilson, um, Chris McClellan, all these guys. Um, and then Douglas too. Was it du What's his, I can't remember his first name. The receiver Douglas, too, another guy, too. So keep an eye on all these guys. But, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that briefly. Thanks for tuning in to the Brand Partial Show. Make sure to stay tuned for more episodes and clips.